today I'm in the Tropen Museum in Amsterdam and there is a cool Japan exhibition with tons of cool culture from Japan and also a very nice part with kawaii culture and also I've seen that there was an exhibition part from Sebastian Masuda and I'm super excited to see it! I'm here in the fashion section of the kawaii part of the exhibition and we do have a lolita here and honestly I think it's perfect and it's written on the description that it's been landed by a real lolita I guess from the local community and so really very good coordinates and really for me there's no flaws in that so a very good representation of the lolita fashion but here we have a lot of decora fashion shown. I'm not a specialist in decora fashion, but for me it's not just the clothes. Here it's written that this outfit is landed by Korobayashi herself. And actually there's only like one skirt, one sweater and some leggings and there's not even shoes. And oh yeah. There is one hat, but they should also have put a wig and tons of the accessories because in my opinion, the decor is not really just two bracelets and a hat. It's like really tons of tons of stuff in your hair and makeup, heavy makeup and everything. And so for me, this is not decor and it should not be presented as such. They should really have done more and more detail. And they do have a video showing Korobayashi over there and you could totally see her in her full decor outfit. I'm in the colorful Rebellion 7th Nightmare exhibition by Sebastian Masuda and it's incredible. I would not have dreamed to see his art in action like so close, so close. And it's... Oh my god. I've never felt so happy anywhere else. That's so, 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 so amazing. You cannot believe it just by seeing it you would have to visit it in person this is really incredible and even when i was in japan i could not see that
so I really loved this cool Japan exhibition. It was really basic, a lot of different elements and very good to introduce people to the cool Japan culture if they don't know it. And I was not 100% satisfied by the exhibition in the kawaii part, but the Sebastian Masuda installation was really, really amazing. When I saw the pictures of it, I thought it would be just printed on the wall and it was only a portion of it. And there was a lot, tons of different kawaii elements, toys and uh, fabric and everything. So it was really like I wanted it to see and it was amazing to see it. And this museum is very interesting. It has a lot of other very interesting ex exhibitions like cultural appropriation, colonialism, slavery and a lot of other really interesting topics that make you think and also a lot of very cool fashion from Africa like modern fashion from Africa so I don't know if all those uh, exhibitions are temporary or will stay all the time but you should really check this museum in Amsterdam so thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you, that you will visit this exhibition before it ends, at least for the Sebastian Masuda installation. And see you soon! Bye! -bye.